Hey, what's up guys? Got another new video here for you. This is Bars Unlimited back with another reaction video. My name is Bryson and back for this video is my brother Bennett and not just uh, my brother but also my partner in concert attending this past Tuesday, August 31st, me and Bennett went to our first metal concert together, uh, essentially. Well, no, technically not, because the skillet one was metal, um, but a little bit different vibe from that one than this one. I mean, this was straight, like, hardcore stuff. <laughs> this was some pretty hardcore stuff, so, um, you know, this was a little bit different. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we went to the concert. I know if you guys have been following on this channel, we posted four videos consecutively in preparation for this concert we reacted to one song from each band uh, leading up to it we and obviously like I said if you guys have been following on the channel you know we saw uh, Megadeth was the headliner tra traveling with um, Lamb of God Trivium and then of course Hatebreed as well so with that being said guys I'm wearing the wrong shirt with that being said, guys, um, oh, yeah, and I got my skillet shirt on, uh, so, yeah. But anyway, so, we went and saw uh, this concert, and it over just overall impressions of it, man, it was phenomenal from top to bottom. You know, we're going to be getting into a little bit more specifics, talking about each of the bands, but just as a whole, you know, I think everybody was really good to... Uh, actually, I would even say great to excellent. There was nothing that I did not enjoy about the experience. I thought all of the bands sounded very similar, if not exactly like they did on their albums and stuff. And for the most part, you know, some of these bands I listen to more than others. So as far as, you know, how many songs did they play that I was familiar with? Some of them didn't really play too many. However, with that being said, you know, uh, I think all of them did a really good job. And like I said, we're going to get into some of that. And also, I did my best with the songs that I did know. And also just kind of taking a gander at some of the lyrics um, that I was listening to live to write down and, uh, you know, share... Uh, make a playlist of some of the songs that I know that each band played that I was either familiar with, I recognized, or I just uh, figured out based on the lyricism and yeah. what they were singing and repeating in the chorus. So, mm -hmm. I have s not all of them though. Please understand, I didn't know all of the songs and stuff like that. So, just because there's only a certain number of songs for each band on here doesn't mean that they didn't play more songs. These are just the ones that I was able to catch. So, yeah. anyways, but before we get into breaking down each band, your overall thoughts on the concert? I thought it was great. Uh, really nothing to complain about here. I mean, just honestly, the vibe that I got there was like unlike anything I've ever felt before, for sure. I mean... Like, that was a true metal concert, in my opinion, because, I mean, sure, I mean, you you could technically call what we went to, when we went to see Skill at a metal concert, but, I mean, like, to me, you don't get the same vibe from Skillet as you do with some of the bands that were playing at, at this concert that we just went to on the 31st. Mm -hmm. So, I mean... I'm not saying in skill it isn't like doesn't have a place to metal because I mean especially for the Christian you know, the Christians and stuff, they're they're like a you know, must go see because I mean they're pretty big, especially in the Christian community. So um yeah, I love Skillet too, but yeah, this was definitely something else. Uh I I would arguably say it was possibly the best concert I've gone to, just overall and overall enjoyment of it. Mm -hmm. So, 
I mean, yeah, all four bands were great. The vocalists were on point. I mean, everybody sounded the same as they do on the records, like Bryson was saying. And, yeah, I mean, nothing really to complain about. Yeah. There was a lot of people. The energy was high. And, yeah, yeah that's what you like to see. Yeah, like and, I mean, things. with the COVID and everything, it was just great to be at a concert again. And, um, you know, <laughs> people were moshing. Yeah, and I, stuff like that, which was pretty entertaining to see. You know, obviously, like, when we went to the other concert, you know, part of it had to do with, like you said, I don't know, I mean, I don't know if you would really see much moshing going on at a Skillet concert. But what I will say, too, though, is that the venue we went to didn't really allow for that kind of thing to happen. Um, however, the venue we went to this time, there was just a huge opening in the middle where people could just go crazy, and they took full advantage of that, especially with some of the bands. Holy crap, yeah, there was some Lamb crazy... Yeah, Lamb of God, especially. Yeah, Lamb of God, oh my goodness, there was some people losing their minds in there. But um, anyways, let's get into some of the bands specifically. Um, as I stated before, Hatebreed was the opening band that came out there. And, you know, personally, I would say just simply because I wasn't really familiar with them at all, I mean, I know we listened to that one song, and then me and Bennett also listened to a couple of others. I believe we... Actually, as a matter of fact, we listened to that entire album uh, of that song that we did last time. So we listened to the rest of that album of the War of the Vultures, wasn't it? Yeah. We listened to the album... No, Wings of the Vultures. Or Wings of the Vultures, yeah. So we listened to the album with Wings of the Vultures on it, and we really, really enjoyed that album. So I'm not saying I wasn't excited, but just simply because I knew the least amount about them, I would say I was kind of like, okay, well, you know, let's see how this goes. Um, I wasn't, like, uber excited about them being there. I was just like, okay, well, you know, it should be good. And I got to say, you know, I was really uh, impressed by them. Like he said... The lead vocalist sounded awesome, just like the records and everything like that. And I thought that they killed it, you know. It, great choice to open up the concert. I feel like they brought a ton of energy. As a matter of fact, I would argue um, behind Lamb of God that the, 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 the crowd and everything was the most energetic for these guys, the second most energetic for these guys, even more so than they were for Megadeth or Trivium. Yeah. I would say the energy, like how crazy people were going. And you also got to consider too, when we're saying that, that like Megadeth and Lamb of God is when it was the most packed. Yeah, exactly. The, it was It was pretty much empty when these guys were playing. But so. but the but people were going nuts for these people, and I mean it was part of the kind of style of music that they're playing I think, but it was also just partly because they were great. I mean I I really thought I they know. were they were really impressive, um, and they sounded great. And before Bennett gives his thoughts, I just wanted to share these are a couple of the songs that they played um, for you guys that are fans and you know super into hate breed and stuff. I, it, again, this is not every song that they played, but these are just the ones that I caught. I got a video of the songs that they didn't, or that I didn't know the name of, but uh, so they played a song called This Is Now. They played Instinctive, Slaughter Lust, Last Breath, Ghosts of War, and Looking Down the Barrel of Today. So, like I said, those are not every song that they played, but those were the ones that I caught. And honestly, you know, I love all, all of them. them were great. Yeah, all of them were really good. I also, I really especially liked Instinctive. I'd say that was probably my favorite song that they played. Um, and like I said, I thought all the choices that they made were really cool. Ghost of War was a neat song. And honestly, like I said, for a band that they didn't play but one song, I, th I think they did play one song off the album that we listened to. I can't remember which one it is. It doesn't look like I marked it down. But there was one song off the album that we listened to. Um, actually, no, that was Instinctive. My bad. That was Instinctive. 
Uh, what, and so that's why I liked it <laughs> probably yeah, the most because I, I had heard it before. But, uh, I mean, uh, like I said, I was really impressed by this band and partly because I wasn't really sure what to expect going in, but I thought it was awesome. So, yeah. anyways. No, that, that's, that's completely my thoughts. I mean, honestly, I, I almost would... I almost would say, like, out of the four bands that, like, I actually was probably, like, the most into the Hatebreed, the Hatebreed concert. Wow. I mean, I, I, I mean, it was kind of like what Bryson was saying, the energy was extremely high in that Hatebreed, when Hatebreed was playing for, for whatever reason, I don't know if it was just the style of music or what, but everybody just seemed to be very into it. And I was definitely one of those people because <laughs> yeah. I absolutely loved what they were playing. I mean, I know Bryson said Instinctive was his favorite song, but I think mine was Last Breath. I thought that one was really cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, I liked all the songs that they played. It just, the one that kind of stood out to me that I remember the most is was Instinctive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, all of, yeah, I mean, you really can't go wrong with any of them. I thought they all were great, but agreed. But yeah, I I obviously loved Hate Breed, and you know what? I ended up getting a shirt for them. So uh, yeah, uh huh. I I don't I don't currently have it on. I mean, currently have it with me right now, but uh, yeah, one of these times in a video or something, I'll I'll wear it so you guys can see it. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Yeah, it is. So, it's really cool. So, yeah. It, yeah, I mean, a choice between all the bands that we saw, he got a hate breed shirt. So that just goes to show, you know, how much he was impressed by them. And like I said, they were really good. They were probably, you know, like I said, I wasn't really sure what to expect. But what I was expecting, they beat those expectations. I, I thought they were amazing. So, great opener, too. Um, with no, that, I, I, I definitely... I definitely think they couldn't have opened the concert any better. Yeah. I mean, for... I know Bryson was excited about In Flames, but, again, I mean, as soon as I heard that first song from Hatebreed, like, uh, Wings of the Vulture, when we reacted to that, I was like, this ain't no band to shout at right now. I mean, I think I think they're going to be phenomenal. So, I mean, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, and they were really, really good. I, I would <laughs> so definitely I not like, be. I would not be against going to see them again, or you know, uh, going to see them when they're like the headlining band and they actually play more of their songs because they yeah they sounded great. So yeah, they were really good. My question would be like, who would be touring with them? Uh, like, probably some more people. <laughs> yeah, probably more maybe bands, some bands like, that we haven't heard of that we could get into. Who knows? But yeah, yeah, nonetheless, great opener and. Really enjoyed, really, 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 uh, really enjoyed myself during while Hate Breed was playing. Yeah, for sure. Um, all right, let's move on to the next band. I think um, we'll get into Trivium. Trivium came out uh, right after, pretty much, pretty much shortly after Hate Breed. You know, they changed the sign in the background and everything. But yeah, as soon as uh, Hate Breed was done, Trivium pretty much came out and. You know, honestly, Trivium is a band that I kind of first got into when I started my metal journey. They were one of the first bands that I had checked out. And so I was actually pretty excited about seeing Trivium um, live. I probably would say, besides Megadeth, I am familiar with the most songs from Trivium of any of the bands. I would even say comparable to Megadeth. Like I, I probably knew more from Trivium than even even that I than I knew from Megadeth uh, going into it. So I was really hoping, like, okay, there's a decent chance that they're gonna play some songs I know. And yeah. I, like I said, I've listened to a lot of Trivium, but I am, but in no means a Trivium expert. You know, a lot of these albums and stuff that I checked out, it was back when I was first getting into metal, so a lot of them I didn't really care for too much um, at that time, and so I, and even when I was into them, you know, it was like, they have, there's so much music out there that it's hard to really, like, listen to one band and get familiar with all their music unless you listen to nothing but. Yeah. 
And it's hard to do that because there's so many genres too, and new music's yeah. coming out every Friday or whatever. So, nonetheless, though, uh, Trivium was really, really good. I thought the lead singer, he sounds great. Like, his singing voice and everything is really good. Um, and then I, I was actually kind of surprised, but not surprised that the guy that was doing the guttural stuff was actually one of the guitar players and it wasn't the lead singer so that was i didn't i mean i'm not saying that's a bad thing or anything i just thought it was kind of interesting um because most of the other people they were doing both what do you mean by guttural like the oh, like the oh. really like intense <laughs> screaming stuff all the other bands the lead singer was doing both and trivium they had a separate guy doing that stuff and then the lead singer was just singing which, honestly, um, to, I mean, like I said, I'm not, that's not to take away from the lead singer or say, oh, you know, what's wrong with you or anything. I just, it was just an observation. Um, I thought Trivium really did a, did a great job, and I was really into their concert. But to be honest with you, uh, I honestly felt like for a good portion of the time that a lot of the people that were there they didn't really seem to care <laughs> that much. Yeah, like no, even they the, weren't really like even trivia. the people even the people that were in the mosh pit area, a lot of them were just kind of standing around. Uh, there wasn't really too many people moshing or really getting super into the music. It just kind of looked like maybe that they had already spent their energy on the last band, and so they were just kind of standing around for Trivium. Um, and so I thought that was kind of unfortunate because it almost seemed like uh, they weren't given the justice that they deserved in some respects. I feel like the fans were, uh, you know, the people at the concert were kind of lukewarm towards them. And honestly, I, I felt like they deserved better than that because they put on a hell of a concert in my opinion. So I don't know, you know, we'll see what you, th what you thought about it, but... In my opinion, I thought Trivium sounded great, and they sang some really cool songs. Um, like I said, not all of them are listed here, but the ones that I caught, they sang a few off, a, a few new ones. Uh, they sang a song uh, in the Court of the Dragon, uh, Catastrophist, Down from the Sky, The Heart from Your Hate, Feast of Fire. And then In Waves also, which I really loved when they did In Waves. That was an awesome song for them to uh, perform. You know, honestly, the unfortunate thing about Trivium, just to end my time, was that the two albums that I've listened to the most from them, they didn't sing any songs from. Like, the, so the albums that I'm familiar with and listen to the most from Trivium is Silence in the Snow and their album Ascendancy and they didn't play a single song from either of those two albums so I was like oh well guess I'm not going to be too familiar with a lot of their music then <laughs> yeah. so that was kind of unfortunate but again that's kind of picking straws overall I thought they were phenomenal I thought they did really good and like I said I feel like the crowd was a little bit lukewarm towards them and I thought they deserved better than that because I thought they killed it and they were really awesome, but um, yeah. What do you think? Uh, me personally, I, I mean, I was uh, I was like, I mean, I I was pretty impressed with the vocalist for sure, just because of the fact that, I mean, just like the Hate Breed guy, the Meg Megadeth lead singer, and all them, you know, they all sounded exactly like they did on tape. So, I mean, you know what? It was pretty impressive. Uh, they did play, like, my favorite song from Trivium, which was uh, Down From The Sky. That's one of my favorites from Trivium. So, that was pretty cool. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm in full agreement. Like, uh, it didn't feel like the crowd was feeling it all that much for whatever reason. I don't know if it was just that they were tired from the first first band or well and I think it was all I think it was also a mixture of the fact that there was not very many people still there yet so I mean it it was kind of an empty arena still because 
Trivium was still an opener, like the concert, the regular, the two main people still weren't there yet, so there was still a lot of people yeah, filing I, in, standing I, in line. But the ones that were there, it just was like, <laughs> oh, okay, whatever. I remember, I remember, I think it was Trivium that was, that was saying, oh, I want to be able to go to California and say Reno was the best. Yeah, <laughs> it was Trivium. Yeah. And yeah. I was thinking, yeah, there's no way we're beating Denver, Colorado with what, yeah, Denver, what we gave them. Yeah. Because a lot of the time, you know, people were just kind of, <laughs> eh, whatever. I mean, but I, I mean, I'm sure they'll go over there and say it anyways, just because, just to get the crowd more involved. Yeah, so, maybe. But, you know, uh, nonetheless, I mean, Trivium was an interesting experience. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I was feeling a lot of their music, just because of the fact that I'm not... I don't know. I, a lot of the style of music that they make is not something I'm all that into. Like I've noticed with a lot of the songs they've made that I don't, for whatever reason, I just don't. It's not for me. I mean, I I do I do have a handful of songs from them that I do like though. So, but. But uh, a lot of them weren't played. <laughs> a lot of the them concert. weren't played. Yeah. So, uh, I but you know what I mean this when. Just listening to them, though, you grow a lot, grow a lot of, of appreciation, especially for the drummers, because uh, I mean those guys are putting their ass off throughout the whole thing. I mean, when you're doing like, do you know, with your feet and all that, it's, it's it's crazy, and they were doing that a lot. Yeah. I mean, you grow a lot of appreciation. Yeah, I would. Concerts. I would say in general on the whole night, you know, not. I mean, especially with a band we're going to talk about here soon, but throughout the night, you really get come to appreciate just how much skill they are. They all they each had in playing the instruments. I mean, yeah, we've talked about the vocalists and stuff like that, but I mean, dude, these these instruments. Uh, I mean, these guitar players and stuff throughout the night were just amazing. It was like, oh my God, like you're listening to these guys just going crazy on these instruments, including the drummers. I mean, they were going so fast throughout the night, and it wasn't just one song. It was basically every song I know, where these people were saying. just going so fast, it's minimal to no breaks in between I each know. song. It was like, wow, that's crazy. That's what I was thinking when I, cause, cause I've watched a couple like Gojira concerts on on YouTube, and I was like, sheesh, how does he keep that up for an hour? Yeah. Like, or sometimes longer than that. Yeah. I mean, you never know. But I mean, yeah, just, <laughs> I'm guessing that they gotta have a lot of stamina for to be able to pull something like that off and perform all those songs live because. Yeah. Let's just say I would probably be dead tired after one song. Yeah. I mean, it's it's insane how yeah. how how uh, how uh, how well these guys can play. Yeah, so, and keep that up, like you said, yeah. for the full however long each of them played. I mean, it was like wow, they didn't they sounded as good as when as if it was their first song on the last song, you know? Yeah, I same. know exactly. So, it's it's insane, but yeah, yeah overall. Overall, did enjoy Trivium. I mean, I, I wouldn't necessarily say they were on my top tier performances of the list, night. but, but you know, uh, still got a lot of enjoyment out of them regardless. So. And and it's cool to be. I mean, they're they're legendary in their own right. You know, they've got a lot of fans, a lot of a big following, and they were big in the 80s and 90s. So it's cool to be able to say we saw them. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like, wow. that. And like I said, they were one of the first bands that I ever got checked out when I started getting into metal. Um, like I said, definitely weren't my favorite when I first started listening to them. But they've definitely grown on me as I've gotten older. And I'm a big <laughs> fan of theirs. So to be able to say I saw them live, that's really cool. Yeah. You know? So anyway, let's move on. Speaking of insane, holy shoot. Let's get into this Lamb of God <laughs> section of the concert um, and remember how I was saying how it kind of felt like a lot of people weren't really into Trivium and they were just kind of standing around or, you know, maybe yeah. they were jumping around but they weren't really into it or anything like that? 
Yeah, well, whatever was going on with that pretty much stopped when Lamb of God came around because, holy nuts, this was the absolute most crazy uh, part of the concert, by not, bar none, in my opinion. The energy in the room and everything was absolutely insane. You look around in every direction and you just see people decking people and shoving screaming folks and, and screaming and yelling and jumping up and down and slamming oh, their heads yeah. around. It was crazy. I mean, it, this section of the concert of Lamb of God coming out and everything, I mean, they were, they were absolutely just... <laughs> Everybody was going nuts for this band. I mean, you would think that they were the main show. That's how insane the crowd was for this show. The pit was never bigger. Uh, you know, the mosh pit, I mean. No. The I mean, people just lined up a along the stage and back and stuff in the middle were going nuts. Everybody was jumping around. Everyone was pretty much out of their seats. Yeah. Just... I mean, no, I, every song, too. I mean, it wasn't just I, one. It was the whole time that they played. Yeah. It was crazy. No. I, I've never experienced any... I mean, I know you were talking about, like, we've never really experienced this kind of concert before. And where you can tell the difference between, like, when we saw Skillet and Seven Dust and when we saw this concert is right here. Because <laughs> even when Megadeth was out, it was a little bit more toned down in terms of the energy level in the room that like people respected them and were into their music but it wasn't like okay let's go no, no, let's go clear the room and not, each other yeah around. let's go push people over this was like okay people are dying somewhere <laughs> yeah i mean to me though like that that just goes to show i mean it was the same way with the hate breed concert i just feel like the style of music that those two bands play really fits well for like mosh pits and stuff. I think oh, yeah. I think that's really what you go to see those bands for. Mm -hmm. Like if you want high energy stuff like that, shoot. No two there's not two better bands in my opinion to go see. Like uh well, I'm not going to say that because I don't I wouldn't say I'm necessarily a yeah, I mean, on a, on band, on let's just say those two stuff. are not bad choices if you're looking for that. Yeah, exactly. That's but, what I'm um, basically trying to say. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I feel like it was kind of a tale of two different concerts. Because I feel like Trivium and Megadeth were similar. And I feel like Hatebreed and Lamb of God were similar. But the fact that they were all four together, it was kind of like switching from one to another. Because it was like, crazy energy, calm down. Crazy energy, calm down a little bit. So, um, but yeah, with Lamb of God, I mean, they were impressive. The lead vocalist, holy crap, I don't even know. I mean, he was going so insane with the guttural screaming and stuff. I don't even know how he managed to do it, how he has a voice after a song. You know what I mean? Like, every single song was just crazy. I don't know how he even... <laughs> I, how he I, did it, but the band was incredible. The vocalist and everything was awesome. Oh, the was, guitar playing and everything was insane. Oh. The song choices that they had, they were they played some awesome songs. Now disclaimer, unfortunately, I did have to leave during part of this part of the concert because the whole time before that, when we were trying to get concessions and shirts and stuff, the line was here to Kingdom Come. But during Lamb of God, I went to use the bathroom, and the line was completely empty. So I went to the bathroom, I went and got us some snacks and stuff, and I got us some t-shirts at that time because the lines were completely empty, as opposed to earlier yeah. where they went all the, stretched all the way around the concert venue, and it was like, yeah, yeah there was no hope. So I missed some of them, but I'll, before he goes, I'll just share with you guys the songs that I heard them play uh they played memento mori walk with me in hell uh now you've got something to die for which i thought was really an awesome song new colossal hate which i was super psyched about i love that song uh, a song called 512 and a song called redneck now i'll be honest i have listened to lamb of god 
um, some, but this is another one of those bands where the majority of the songs that they played were off of, or that I caught, were off of albums I haven't listened to. The two albums that I've listened to the most from Lamb of God, and more specifically one album that I've listened to a lot from Lamb of God, I did not hear any songs from that album played at this concert. I'm trying to remember what the album was called. But, um, Wrath? Yeah, Wrath. Exactly. That The Wrath album is the one that I've listened to like consistently yeah. and a lot, and I didn't hear them play any songs from that album. So that was kind of unfortunate. However, they did play some songs off of their newest album, which was the uh, self-titled Lamb of God album and i did hear some of those like i said memento mori they played new colossal hate and also i believe they played checkmate am i right i think they i thought i heard them playing that song when i came walking back but yeah, i could be wrong have, they might have I, I could be wrong on that but if they did that was that was super awesome i i'm almost positive it was that but in some respects, I feel like a lot of their songs kind of ran together <laughs> just because they sound similar. Yeah, so that was... I can't remember. I, I think they did play Checkmate. I think that was one that I caught the tail end of um, because I, you know, I was just coming back from getting yeah. our snacks and stuff. So anyway, Lamb of God absolutely killed it. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I was, how I was going to feel about this band just because, you know, some of their songs I have not been a huge fan of. And then others I've really enjoyed, so they're kind of like a toss-up for me, but they killed it. And in terms of energy, it was never more crazy in the room than when these guys were out here. I mean, there was just it, no, it was people crazy. exploding all over the place, and it was like unlike anything I have ever experienced before. And, you know, who knows if it's unlike anything I'll ever experience again, because uh, we might, you know, we're going to try to make an effort to get to more of these type of concerts and stuff. But I'm just yeah. saying, this will be an experience I've, I'll never forget. Specifically with this concert, you know, I might not remember uh, very much about Trivium or maybe Hate Breed or something like that. Who knows? But I definitely will never forget um, my experience watching Lamb of God because that was... I mean, that was, yeah, that was something insane. Else. <laughs> it was no, insane. No, it was. It was. And I'm not saying they were head and heels above everybody else in terms of what I enjoyed the most, but I'm just saying the experience of watching them and just seeing how everybody was and the energy <laughs> they played with and everything like that, it was unforgettable. I mean, I, I still remember it like I just watched it, just seeing people going absolutely oh. nuts everywhere and watching the guy – play and uh, oh, i mean it man. was just crazy no uh, yeah uh i'm in full agreement i mean this was this was definitely something else i mean just really i mean just the way they use they had the pyrotechnics added into the concert with like the fire and all that oh stuff. yeah that too i mean that really added a nice uh a nice kind of like uh, what am I? What am I trying? It to It added a nice element to their yeah, performance. Yeah, it added a, a a nice element to their performance, uh, and yeah, I mean, I didn't necessarily like it, like like the beginning part, just because I don't like the freaking loud bomb noise or whatever. Yeah, they had is. like a huge cannon shot to begin and end their concert, which I could have lived without as well. Yeah, I mean, I I thought it would have been better off without that, but. Geez, as far as the rest of it goes, just unbelievable. Yeah. I don't think I have ever seen anything quite like like what I saw at the Lamb of God concert. Yeah, I don't, I'm telling I you mean, guys. I mean, it's it it was it was very it was something else. And honestly, I would possibly say that that um, out of all the four bands, they were probably the one I enjoyed the most, just because of the energy. And also, I was just really feeling the songs they were playing. Yeah. I was like, damn, you know, I, I, I mean, I was bobbing my head and. Yeah, that that song. I, now you've got something to die for. That one was crazy to me. I had never heard that before, but that was one of my favorite songs of the night. 
Yeah, honestly. I mean... And 512 was cool. Walk With Me in Hell was really awesome. Um, I even thought Redneck was good. I mean, I was, Yeah, I thought that one was interesting. I mean, I thought... I really don't think they played a bad song. I mean, I... <laughs> I was pretty impressed with all of them, honestly. I mean, yeah, no, they red, no trip. I mean, um, Lamb of God, they they were. Um, I mean, I like I said, I wasn't sure what to expect going in, but I was blown away by the time that they were finished, and I felt bad that I had to miss some of their concert because I was getting drinks and stuff. Because I mean, it was just amazing. Yeah, but, when when you were coming back, I think they were playing like the final song. No, well, it was the song before the final song because I, I think was it there. was five one two when you were they were playing five one two when you were coming back. I think they ended with Redneck if I remember right. Um, but I no, because when I was coming back, I'm almost positive they were playing a song that I was familiar with. I think it was Checkmate, but I I could be wrong. Um, I think I missed one whole song and then part of another one. So, anyways, though, um, yeah, they were amazing. High energy, just absolute craziness the whole yeah. time. And like I said, that's the other thing. It wasn't just like, oh, when they first came out, they were really firing on all cylinders, and then they kind of eased up. It was literally from song one to <laughs> s till the end of the time that they were done where it was madness in you, there. Yeah, I mean, you could possibly argue that it even got more crazy as their concert went on. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean... It, it started kind of, I mean, it started high energy, but to me, as as they got playing, like, two or three songs in, you really started to see the energy pick up. Yeah. I mean, it was insane. Yeah. And like I said, like, I, like we've kind of said already, I mean, performances like that are what you go to these concerts for. I mean, just amazing. Amazing, yeah. I mean, that's the best way to describe it. It was just amazing. I mean, I, it felt, it was a treat and it was like, wow. I mean, it felt like that was worth the price of admission. And if they were closing, I would have went home happy. You know what I mean? Like, if yeah. we had left after they finished, I was yeah, like, yeah. That, I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, the, like, I felt like I got my money's, I, I felt like we had gotten our money's worth just from seeing the first two bands and then play. Yeah. I no, felt I like agree. that was worth our money. And then the fact that we had Megadeth coming I, out next, I was like, <laughs> I really, how I does mean, this get any better? I <laughs> really, I really, I really think that like Lamb of God could, could close a show and be just fine. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I feel like, I think they probably usually would if it wasn't for the fact that they're traveling with Megadeth, who is like, the one of the biggest yeah. metal bands ever not just but you know what was weird though is i felt like trivium's section was shorter than hate breeds yeah i i kind of noticed that too it felt like they had a very short set list to be honest uh in comparison to the other bands and then lamb of god was like way longer than both of them <laughs> yeah well, I expected that because they're one of the main acts, so yeah, but, I expected uh, their set list to be a lot long. The, I expected basically a full concert from them, um, but, you know, nonetheless, if Lamb of God ever comes to Reno again, you know, consider us at that concert because that was an that experience. That was something else. I, that was, I loved it. And like I said, I'm going to be listening to a lot more of their music, so next time that they come, I'll be fully prepared. No, me too. I definitely plan on checking out some of their yeah, stuff. I just... In fact, I just listened to the song named Vigil by them not too long ago. It became one of my favorite songs. Wow. Like, I, I absolutely love love the melody on it, and just the feel of the song is pretty amazing. I, yeah. I really like it. Yeah, and, and before we get into Megadeth, I'll just say, you know, I said that about Lamb of God, but honestly, I felt the same way about each of these bands. After watching them, I'm like, man, I really got to listen to their music more. Because like I said, there was not a bad performance at all. All of them were sounded great and made me want to listen to their music. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. really did. So I with, was, I, Yeah, I was blown away. I was blown away by them. Exactly. But like I said, Lamb of God was truly an experience I'll never forget. Like 30 years from now, you know, if there's one thing that I, 
or if there's only a handful of things I remember about this concert, and I can't remember who I went with or anything like that, maybe, or I don't know, but I'll, I'll still remember seeing Lamb of God for the first time, you know, no, even when I'm in a home in my 80s, I'll, I'll still yeah. remember seeing Lamb of God for the first time because that was just crazy. Um, now, with that being said, though, it, they will not, were not the final band because, like I said, even though we could have left after Lamb of God and been happy campers, we still had the legends, the goat, uh, you know, what some people consider to be the greatest of all time in metal, Megadeth, coming out after them. And like I said, you know, in terms of the energy level, definitely a uh, a decline from Lamb of God, but it's not. It wasn't that the crowd was dead for Megadeth at all. The crowd was super into them, but in a different way. And that's just because I think the style of music yeah, was... I mean, Megadeth is not... It didn't really seem to me like they were as much of a let's go mosh type of band as, uh, as Lamb of God was. I mean, like the mosh pit and stuff for Megadeth, it never, never was really that big. Lamb of God, it was like a huge, the entire time. Megadeth, a lot of people were really into the music and singing along and stuff like that, but not really like going yeah, nuts. Yeah, you know, I, I actually kind of got Skillet vibes from the Megadeth concert. Like, it's kind of the same thing. Like, nobody's going insanely crazy, like moshing and stuff, but... People are singing along and getting into the music regardless. Yeah, they were really into like, the music, not so much like it It wasn't feeding into their like desire to just knock people out, <laughs> I guess. Right, exactly. So, and um, I, I mean, honestly, it, no surprise because these guys are technicians, they're legendary, and um, honestly, you know, going into this, I was fully expecting for th this part of the concert to be exceptional and to be amazing and it met those expectations and surpassed them. I mean, just just watching the artists play the guitars and drummer and the band itself take away the singing and everything. These guys were just on another level. I mean, they were absolutely amazing. Watching them play some of these riffs and just some of these solos that they played it, that were 100% on point, you know, not missing a beat, completely crisp, 100% in sync, everything. They were, I mean, you couldn't get better, uh, in my opinion. Like, they couldn't have done better. They couldn't have written it any better. They couldn't have played it any better. Yeah. It, it was just, it was amazing. It was like listening to their studio recording. And yeah. that's not even including the guy, um, Dave Mustaine, the lead singer, who came out there and was singing these songs and sounded exactly like the albums also. You know, yeah, he, know. Uh, he, he sounded 100% the exact same, which... You know, I've watched live concert videos before of Megadeth, so I expected him to. But I'm just saying. And like Bennett said with the fire for Lamb of God, you know, they had some really cool things, um, props and kind of things with Megadeth. You know, they had at one point, they had a giant robot come out. Um, and then at another point, they had a guy in a skull, a skull mask thing on. And, you know, they just had a bunch of different things they didn't, like that. I mean, they didn't they didn't really have, like, any, like, smoke coming out of the floor or anything. Yeah, like no, that. they didn't do anything that was, like, aesthetically, like, crazy. But they just had, like, a bunch of um, people in costumes at different points come out in different costumes. Like I said, one guy came out in a robot thing, and he was, like, really tall. Um, it, it was like a robot on stilts or something. Yeah. But but then again, I mean, I I would expect that more from like a Lamb of God type band than a Megadeth. Megadeth, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I just think that Megadeth did really well. And like I said, they had like skeletons and different things that goes with 
the theme of Megadeth completely. Um, and then when they had that robot out there, I think it was for Dystopia or one of the songs, but it was just super cool to watch Megadeth. I mean, they were absolutely amazing in my opinion. They artistically just blew me away in every way possible. I mean, I didn't truly appreciate just how good Megadeth is until I went to this concert and I saw them play some of these songs live and I was just sitting there like, oh my God, these guys are absolutely incredible musicians. Like, they, no, they, it was just, un, I mean, it was some of the best just straight up playing instruments that I have ever witnessed, heard, seen, anything. Yeah, I... I, I don't think, I, I can honestly say, like I said, I might be a prisoner of the moment, but I have not seen better, and I don't think I ever, I don't know if I ever will, and it's, as far as I'm concerned, they're the best that I've ever, that they're, they're at least in the conversation for the best I've ever seen live, in terms of just walking away from a concert and saying, wow, that was incredible. I would have paid what we paid for our entire concert just to see Megadeth by themselves. That's how I felt after watching that concert. They were worth the price of admission on their own. I was absolutely blown away by Megadeth. They were incredible. I was like, wow, that was so cool. Um, and then before Bennett goes, I'll just share with you some of the songs that I heard them play and caught. Like I said, another situation where some of the songs that they played I wasn't really familiar with. And also, I was dealing with battery issues on my phone because my phone was dead partway through the Megadeth concert So uh, from recording so many videos and stuff. But anyway, they played uh, Dystopia, Tornado of Souls, uh, Peace Cells, The Conjuring, Symphony of Destruction, Take No Prisoners. Those yeah. were the ones that I caught from them. And like I said, they played a couple others. Uh, the song that they ended with, I know, but I couldn't remember the name of it, unfortunately. So, like I said, you know, there's a few other songs on there that they played that I missed also because I just wasn't very familiar <sighs> with them. Or they were off albums that I haven't really listened to very much. But, yeah. um... Yeah, but holy crap, when when they when they <laughs> when they played The Conjuring and Symphony of Destruction, which is honestly probably two of my favorites from Megadeth, I was going absolutely nuts and they killed those songs and every other song that they did. And Peace Cells was super cool to hear them play live too. So, yeah, blown away yeah. by Megadeth, they were amazing. No, definitely. I mean, I I would totally agree. I think I think I honestly didn't have like as high expectations going into it just because I was like, uh, these people are older now. I mean, it's not going to be probably the same as, you know. If you were seeing them in their prime. Yeah, exactly. It's probably not going to be the same as that. But, man, I was proven definitely wrong because uh, they definitely played their ass off uh Especially the guitar players. I mean, I mean, multiple solos in all their songs, and all of them were just on point with it throughout the whole night. I mean, yeah. it was, it was pretty insane. Uh, I mean, just for the style of music, though. I mean, it. I can understand why the energy wasn't quite as high as like somebody like Leo and God would would have the crowd. Like it, I mean, it was high, but not... Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, I think the energy was just as high, but not in the same way. I mean, like I said, I think, li you know, the crowd listening to Lamb of God told them, hey, let's go mosh. And yeah. listening to Megadeth, it's like, wow, we're watching greatness and really take it in and listen to just how great these guys are and sing along kind of thing. As opposed to like, okay, let's go knock somebody out in the uh, pit. I I actually think I might have found a new favorite Megadeth song tonight. I mean, at that concert, uh, I absolutely loved listening to Tornado of Souls. That that song really stuck out to me. 
I thought that was an awesome song, and I just, I, I really enjoyed myself, especially during that one. It was cool when Bryson's two favorites came on. Uh, they played the played their ass off for those two. Yeah, I mean, and also there, I mean, like for instance, Symphony of Destruction. That's one that I play all the time, and commonly will just be messing around doing something, and I'll turn on my playlist or something. And so he's heard those songs probably a dozen times. Yeah, so I, I mean, it was you know a couple of songs that he was familiar you with. Take a mortal man. Yeah, <laughs> you make a mortal man. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, he was actually familiar with them. So even though they may not be his favorite songs or anything like that, it was still songs that he was like, "Oh, okay, I know this one." So that yeah. was cool for him and for me because the, yeah, the only one that was missing for me was uh, Public Enemy. I, yeah, Public uh, Enemy number one. They did not play, and I was and. Also, 99 Ways to Die, man. If they would have played those two songs, literally the night could not have been any better. Um, but, you know, even though they didn't play those songs, they played so many good ones. And, like I said, every song that they played, you just listen to it and you're, like, yeah, blown I, away by just how amazing they are at just making I was, music. I was, uh, yeah, I was definitely, I was definitely, uh... I was definitely blown away by the instrument instrumentation. I mean, I wasn't. I was kind of expecting them to be like, shoot. I mean, when you when you when you make the style of music that they do, like fat, like really fast playing of guitar, etc. Uh, I mean, shoot, you gotta have some talent to be able to do that in the first place because that's just really tough to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're hitting multiple different you know chords like really quick <laughs> yeah. i mean that's not easy yeah i mean it and you know what i mean it just just makes you realize like i mean i don't i don't, I don't think in terms of guitar playing there's there's much better out there i mean yeah that's what uh, i'm saying i mean just from a pure like playing the instrument that is in front of you I don't think it gets any better. I mean, if it does, I'd love to hear it because that – I just – let's put it this way. In, in closing with Megadeth, after watching that concert, if you didn't already know why these guys are considered one of, if not the best metal band of all time, after you watch the concert, you understand completely why these guys are held in such high esteem. You know what I mean? Like that's what I that's that's what I took I, away from yeah, watching them. I, I, was I, like before I was like okay I understand why people like them, but I wasn't really sure why. I wasn't a hundred percent sold on like okay this is definitely one of if not the best band of all time. But after watching them live, I'm like yeah there's no doubt that they are, they are one of if not the best I've ever, I've ever heard. I mean that it, they were just absolutely incredible. So yeah, uh -oh. <clears throat> I really, I, I honestly grew a lot more respect for all four of the yeah, bands. Yeah, all four. Played. Uh, I agree, one hundred percent. I mean, I grew, I grew a lot more respect for all four of them because, I mean, especially Hate Breed, who I, I had never heard of. I was like, dude, they put on one hell of a show, and you know. <laughs> Coming into it, I was kind of expecting that just because I was like, you know what? I I only had to listen to one song and I could already tell I was gonna like them. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, so yeah, all four bands definitely did a great job. Yeah. And in terms of probably my overall enjoyment ranking, though, I would say I would probably have Lamb of God first, then then Hate Breed, then Megadeth, and then. Uh, trivium as my bottom. Okay. So but that's uh, just me. I mean, like like I said, they they were all all four of them were great in their own way. Yeah. Uh -huh. it, that doesn't just I I guess I'm just into that high really high energy and like the kind of stuff that we were getting from Hate Breed and and Lamb of God a little bit more than the kind of energy I was feeling from. Somebody like Megadeth, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, 
yeah, like I said, it's it's, it's not meant to be a like oh Megadeth Megadeth was not impressive because they definitely were, yeah. but just in terms of my overall enjoyment, in, I would I would say I was a little bit more into Lamb of God and uh, Hate Breed. Yeah. They, that's more your style than Megadeth was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say for me, uh, I would say fourth is Trivium, third, Hate Breed, second, Lamb of God, and first, Megadeth. So pretty much in the order that they performed, except for Swap, Trivium, and, and Hate Breed. And that's, again, that's not to say that I didn't enjoy Trivium because I really did enjoy them and they were a band that I was really, really, really excited to see. But I just feel like uh, the energy of the rest of the the room during their particular part in the concert, it kind of wore off on me a little bit. Like, you know, you look around and everybody's just kind of standing there or sitting down. Didn't seem like a lot of people... Uh, were very into their music and it was just kind of like oh like I don't know I mean I'm not saying that it made me not enjoy it but I'm just saying like it kind of made me not as excited as I maybe would have been otherwise because it just seemed like a lot of people were just like okay let's get on to the Let's get, on, yeah, exactly. Let's get on to the next group. You know, I mean, that that was kind of the energy that I felt was like they just wanted it to get over so that they could get to the next group. Um, but, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's not a shot at anybody because I thought all of the bands were amazing. And like I said, for me, Megadeth just absolutely blew me away because of just how good they played the instruments and everything. And between Megadeth and Trivium's, I mean, uh, Megadeth and Lamb of God specifically, I mean, what an outstanding main two bands to have headline a show that you just watch and both of them were more than worth what we paid to for individually both of them were worth what we paid just the experience for both watching both of them was unforgettable yeah and i mean put them both together as well as the two opening bands this concert just it from top to bottom was absolutely incredible one of the greatest best shows i've ever seen for sure um it's kind of hard yeah it's kind of hard to rank concerts when you're talking about you know, concerts that you've seen from a wide variety of different artists and genres. You know what I mean? Like, I've seen, I've been to a handful of concerts, but this, I've only been to a couple of them that were metal, primarily. <laughs> and so, as a result, it's kind of hard for me to say, oh, well, did you like this better than when you went to see that funk, you know, jazz band? Well, <laughs> It's kind it's of two, it's different. two different experiences, so it's hard to say um, whether or not this was the best concert I've ever been to. But what I will say is it's definitely not at the bottom of the list. It's towards the top. Uh, it would just come down to, you know, what <laughs> I, I guess personal preference on whether or not this was my favorite concert I've ever been to. Um, and also a lot to do with the circumstances. I think... As well. I think I think in terms of my, like, in terms of one one thing I will say, like, is this was possibly the most memorable concert I've gone to. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily, I mean, I mean, I know I said it was possibly my favorite concert I've ever been to, and I, I stand by that because I thought it was, it was, Phenomenal. it was unlike anything I've ever seen for sure. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, I, I definitely really enjoyed myself, and yeah, uh, yeah I mean, if, if Lamb of God or any of those comes back anytime soon, then I'm all, you, We're you, there. Can, you can count me in, because, yeah. especially for Lamb of God, because I thought, I don't think I've ever seen a room more energetic than mm-hmm. when they were playing, so, yeah. it was, it was, it was something else. Yeah. Um, last thing that I want to say before we wrap up this video is just shout out to these bands and shout out to whoever made this tour 
Because, holy crap, I mean, what a legendary grouping. I mean, you're talking about Hatebreed, who's been around for a while, even though I'd never heard of them. I'm sure metal fans have, because they started releasing music in, like, the 90s. You're talking about Trivium, who is not one of the big four, but they're highly loved, highly respected, and highly skilled and have been around for a very long time as well and ha and in their own right are legendary in their own way i believe just like then lamb you of god, I then say. yeah then you got lamb of god who is you know just like wow um incredible and and on top of all that you then you add megadeth who is quite possibly one of the greatest metal bands ever uh, i mean I would have thought that it that you would be seeing just one of those bands. You know what I mean? Like any one of those bands could headline a show at this point and I would go see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I would go see a Trivium being the main show. I mean the fact that Trivium opened a show is like, what? Are you serious? Well, These guys they are had big time. Open it. Well, well, they weren't the main openers, but they were an opener. They weren't a headliner. No. They they were an opener. Yeah. The the, main, the headliners were Lamb of God and Megadeth, so technically they were an opener. Yeah. They weren't the main opener, but they were an opener for the other bands. That's why their set list was so short. Yeah. And co especially compared to Lamb of God and Megadeth. Yeah, it was it was. And honestly, Hatebreed. I thought I thought their set list was a lot shorter than Hatebreed's. Yeah. Well, I was, I don't know. I mean, I just it, it felt, felt maybe way. it felt that way a little bit. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, though, I mean, like I said, shout out to the people that put that concert together, and especially considering what I paid, what we paid for the tickets. Shoot, I would have paid that for oh. for. If, any of those bands by themselves, especially after the experience I had watching them this time, if Hatebreed was to come to town and headline a show and be with another band I had never heard of, I would pay what I paid for my ticket to this concert for that. And then you add on the fact that Trivium was with them and Lamb of God and Megadeth, absolutely insane. I mean, yeah. I, I could not believe how cheap... I paid so much more... For bands that are so much less noteworthy than what I paid for this concert. I mean, I have paid double. Double what I paid for our tickets combined. I've paid double for bands that are nowhere near as legendary as Megadeth. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if you aren't super into the genre, then you'd probably never heard of them. And I've paid... You know, double what I paid for the concerts to the yeah. this, tickets to this concert, and I mean, like I said, you just talk about four incredible bands, and you just put them all together, all in one concert, guys. It's still at the beginning of this concert tour. They're still going to be touring for most of the rest of 2021. If you if they're coming to a town near you, because uh, this is towards the beginning of their tour. Uh, Reno was one of the first stops. I think it was like fifth or sixth, and they're going to like 20 places. If this tour is coming to your city or a city near you, buy tickets, go see it. It is absolutely worth every penny to go watch this live. Absolutely incredible tour, incredible concert. We were blown away in so many different ways. We had an absolute blast, and even though we were dead tired for work the next morning, it was so worth it. Um, we had an absolute blast at this concert <laughs> you know, and would go back. I would go back again tomorrow. Yeah. I, and I, I would go you. back the next night and go and have work the next morning. <laughs> I don't even care. I yeah, would do it I again. Mean, to totally. I mean, you know what the funny thing is? Is that I actually didn't really feel just how tired I was till like, the day after... Like, not, not after, like, the day after, uh, the day after the concert. Like, you know, the second day, like, yeah. after we had gone to the concert. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, the first day, I for whatever reason, like the morning after the concert, I was able to wake up just fine. Yeah, same here. But then was, the next day, I was like, <laughs> I know, I was like, <laughs> I, it was, I was like, damn, I, I, shoot, I wish I didn't have to go work because I was like. Just about out of it. Yeah, I was dead, too. That was the same with me. I mean, the very next day, I was like, oh, I'm kind of surprised that I've got energy. But then the next day, I was like, Probably yawn. feeding off some of that energy still from the concert. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was still running on uh, Lamb of God. <laughs> yeah. Again, so. But, yeah, a great, great concert. And, yeah, like Bryson says, I mean, I would I would pay to go see it again if, if they yeah. were... Oh, even if it was the same four bands, I would go see it again. It's the same year. <laughs> I was I gonna mean, say that. I would be I was like, say that too. yeah. I Especially mean, just, at the price that we paid. I mean, I would go see that. And I, really, I would buy the tickets right now to go see them again. And really, I mean, there really wasn't a bad seat in the place. No, I the mean, venue it, that we went to was great, and you know, even the worst seats in there, I felt like were not terrible. I mean, we were sit. What we were sitting in like the right row. Yeah. I mean, and really, we had a perfect view of the stage, nonetheless. Mhm. In my opinion, so I mean, to me, you can't go wrong, especially with that, with that, where where the concert was held. I mean. You heard it here first. I mean. So. Yeah, I I I absolutely loved it and. Uh, yeah. But great. anyways, guys, I mean, we've ranted and raved about it enough at this point. I mean, as you guys yeah, can see, if, if con- can the video is going over an hour now, so I think we'll go ahead and call <laughs> it good. If we said anything else, you would probably be just hearing I mean, what I, we've already been saying throughout was, this whole video. I was so. going to say, we could go on and on and on. At the end of the day, you guys just go out and buy tickets if it, and go see it for yourself to understand what we're talking about. Um, and, you know, I think what really added to it, lastly, is just the fact that we didn't, we'd didn't, we never been to a concert like this. We'd never seen any of these bands before. So we didn't really know what to expect. Um, and so I think that was just like, and with all the COVID and everything else going on, it just felt so nice to be in a concert again. And to have this be the first one that we've seen since it all started, was like, wow, what a way to get back into concerts. I mean, it was just like, wow. (laughs) And just to think of, like, how far we've come in terms of, like, like music that we enjoy. Like, for us to be sitting here saying, oh, I want to go to metal concerts all the time now. It's like, what the hell? Where was this two years ago? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, mean, especially for him. You know, a couple of years ago, I don't even think that I would have felt it worth the money to buy him a concert ticket because I, I on it, even going into it before we did those reviews, I thought maybe he would like Megadeth and maybe he would like Trivium, but I honestly didn't think he'd like Hatebreed or uh, after I had listened to Hatebreed and then Lamb of God, I didn't think he'd like either of those at all. So I was almost thinking to myself, like, is it even worth it for him to come to this concert? But he really wanted to try it, and so I'm so glad that he did because he really enjoyed himself, and so did I. Yeah. So, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this. You know, this was just our thoughts on the uh, greatest metal tour ever. Uh, they call it, I think, it, the greatest metal tour 2021. I think is the name of it. Yeah. Um, and you know, it certainly lived up to the hype. It was a great metal tour and just phenomenal bands and, from top to bottom. Yeah. And also like, like I said, I did, I did get a hate breed shirt and I'll, I'll try and show it to you guys. next. Yeah. Week. And I got a Megadeth, I got a Megadeth, uh, tour shirt. Yeah. Um, so we'll have to definitely whip those out for a couple of videos. And we also got my dad a Megadeth shirt as well. And, and I uh, got him a Trivium shirt. Yep, and a I. Couple days ago yep, too. and also he got me a uh, Trivium shirt as no, well. No, no Pantera. Oh, that's right, Pantera. Yeah, my bad. Um, but I own a Trivium shirt as well. So, uh, nonetheless, you know, it was just an awesome concert. So, yeah. with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I'm sure nobody's still around at this point in the video, but 
you know, if you watched it at any point, thank you guys. This was just our thoughts on this tour and this concert. We had an awesome time in closing, and we'll definitely be going to more metal concerts. And every time that we go to a concert like that, even if it's not for a metal band, you know, uh, I think it would be fun at this point to continue to do this and continue to share our thoughts about the bands or the artists or this or that or the other thing, share what we think and just kind of share our experience with it. Um, and, you know, with that being said, we'll try to get to more concerts and stuff. The more things open up, I definitely feel like it would be fun to try and make it more of a priority to get to these concerts and stuff. Um, as a matter of fact, we were almost going to go see another metal concert this week. Didn't yeah, work was, out. But yeah. uh, anyway, so with that being said, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, comment if you have uh, any thoughts or if you've seen any of these bands live um, or if you have any thoughts about anything that we said in the course of this video. Um, also, make sure, you know, if you guys have been to any dope metal concerts or anything like that, or have any suggestions of bands that we should check out live if they were to come to us, you know, drop them down in the comments. And lastly, uh, make sure that you guys, you know, go check out those reactions that we had to those four songs from the bands. And we'll be sure to react to more metal, uh, more songs from them on this channel. Each of them will be getting back to them and, uh, you know, be checking out more songs from them because we really enjoyed all of them. So... With that being said, guys, I'm Bryson. I'm Bennett. See you guys in the next video.